Hello and welcome back to Duncan Romper. So let's just check everything here we've done. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly scan through everything. Ah, here's some new stuff. All right, so let's see if we can get a coin first. Just as Hammer 4, the weapon that was killed to kill Taka. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. That reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to a repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely be possible. There we go. New clue. But even if the dolly was used to move Taka's body, what about Afumi? Afumi's body was in the nurse's office on the first floor. Even with the dolly, there's no way to get it up to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. Huh, this top. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, and just recently too. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. <laughs> I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimately rare event. Yep, just check for a Monokumi coin. Right. Here we go. Let's not go for the obvious first though. Okay, left to right. What are you investigating, Celeste? <laughs> I am not investigating anything, precisely speaking. I am simply going around seeing if Hero might be hiding somewhere. Mm. What about you? Oh, you know, I'm just checking this and that. The main thing on my mind is how someone could have moved the Fumi's body. Let's see. How the Fumi was moved, eh? When it disappeared, you were when it disappeared, you were supposed to be in the nurse's office, right? Yes, indeed. Correct. Hina was not feeling well, so I stayed behind to look after her. But she seemed to be getting worse, so I took her to the bathroom. And when you got back, the body was gone. Mm. We could not have been gone for more than a minute or two, though. Yeah, Hina said the same thing. So then the killer was able to get in and move a Fumi's body in that short amount of time. Indeed. It would seem so. Carry off someone as big as a Fumi in only a couple minutes is. I can't think of anything less than impossible. So we've got a camera. We've got that. It's just a normal trash can. Huh? Wait, there's something inside. It's too small to be a handkerchief, it's. A glasses cleaning cloth. Some kind of cartoon character, right? Ah, oh, but it's also covered in blood! Oh. Ah, did you find something? Yeah, there was a cleaning cloth in the trash. Huh? A cleaning cloth? It's all bloody! Whoever this belonged to must have used it to wipe away some blood. But who would need to do something like that? <sighs> I haven't the slightest idea. Yeah. Me either. But I think it might be important. <laughs> Just this hammer free, the one that was used to kill with me. Someone moved the body but left the weapon behind. Bit of a strange thing to do, isn't it? Refrigerator. I wonder if there's anything to drink inside. After everything I've been through, I'm totally parched. Maybe just a quick peek. There's a bunch of blood packs in here. For blood transfusions, I guess. Doesn't help me though. I'm not a vampire. Monica, Mata, Corridor. Exit, yes. Hmm. 
So this is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that you meant to, but you ended up by making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um, you should go to Hero's Room. Oh, let me give you this. Meat in the dining hall. This is note Hero wrote to get us all meet up, right? You remember well. Oh, sit. That last bit was me. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so it left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Things grow ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Goodbye. There we go. Um, so we said to go to Hero's Room, but... What's waiting for me there? Right, well, let's just go to it. Because it's a lead. Which we need at the moment. Because at the moment, we don't really have anything to go off. Right, Hero's Room. So, where's the fat piece of shit? Oh no, that's the thing we use fat piece of shit. So, Hero's... Yeah. This one. door is unlocked? I guess I can go inside. Biaka did say to give a look. Might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. This is Hero's room. There's all kinds of weird stuff in here. When do you even get it all from? Where do you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really ex complain if I don't get his permission to search his room, right? Right, left to right. So, camera that should give us a monarchy of coin. No? Okay. His bed. It's a normal bed, pretty much. Just like the one in my room. I think there's something in the cardboard box. Blueprints or something, and something made uh, out of looks like cardboard, plastic, and plaster. Is this Robo Justice? And it's in Hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Let's have a look. So, what truth bullets have we got? Because we want something to do with... Can we get that picture? Oh, okay, no we can't. So we can't investigate that though. Okay. Just check the monitors, got nothing. Yep, no coins. Okay. Oh, hey, that's the bathroom. Isn't it? I soundlessly checked the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty grungy though. How's the bathroom even get this dirty? So that's so empty. Camera. Right. Okay. Also, I wasn't noticing that that was glitching a bit. Makoto! Makoto! Big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? I is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done. There's more big news! Just Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice? Hmm. It's Hero wearing his cos. It's Hero wearing the costume! Okay. Anyways, anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. I think Hiran and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Right, just check there's no clues here.
Just ways to get around. Let's go over there. Kyoko and I mean, oh man, I have had the worst day. Hero. I am positive that is the suspicious individual that attacked me. <laughs> Apparently, that ridiculous object is Hero. I'd ask Kyoko for the details of Hyrule. Right. I found Hero. He was jammed into the pool room locker. It looks like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean. I can still, I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it. Like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What? That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Wow. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. It's nothing. Never mind. Okay. More importantly, she says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people who think she might be spying for the mastermind? Yeah. First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, didn't even know how that happened. Then I woke up and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care, do something about that costume. It pains me to just to look at you. Huh? Well, um... I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off for a little help. Why would you make something that you can't take off by yourself? I didn't make the stupid freaking thing! It would seem... There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. Looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice. Let's help him. Took everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get here out of the suit. Took a few minutes, but eventually we all we got all the pieces off. <laughs> Whoa! Free at last! Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly suit fits Hero? So then... What to the point? Nobody but Hero will be able to wear that costume. Uh, um... Wait, what? Oh, hold on a sec! Honestly... Don't bother trying to act innocent. Don't bother trying to act innocent. These blueprints are in your room as well. Is that okay? In other words, it is obvious to everyone that you made this costume. <laughs> That's true, I saw the... That's true, I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious the one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone That's was Hero! <sighs> Should we tie him up and gag him? Just the one. Good idea! We wouldn't want to kill him anyone else. <laughs> to, to tie me up? H hold on, guys, I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean. Uh, um, attacking blueprint! Attacking blueprints! I have no idea what you guys are talking about! What the heck? Can't talk your way out of this! It's been decided! You killed them! Please. What? Killed who? I have no idea what you're talking about! There must have been a fake. There must have been a fake hero running around! What are you saying? You're the only one who can wear this costume! So who else could possibly be the costume's attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, I will. Without missing a bit, Hina started... Without missing a bit, Hina started putting on a robot just this costume. Ha! See, look. See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me! And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean, it seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. Yeah. In a half, he only took the suit back off again. Oh. Well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... No, no, you see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Uh, okay. 
against my will, picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. Just a second. See? I told you it was impossible. <laughs> you are absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But, but then there's another costume. There must have been one that looks the same, but but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of if you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> evidence, man. Oh shit, that's the voice, isn't it? Yes. You claim there is another suit, yes? Then you must find it and show it to us. <laughs> what, what the heck? Just the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is how we know it was him. <laughs> I mean, is that really true? I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone like me, like, tell me? <laughs> 